right, about another 30 seconds for shots here. You guys can totally get comfortable. Take a seat, sit out here. Just bring it in. Let me talk. doing so far other than not, not being freaking Hodges in here. Open doors. The doors are either open or they're unlocked aren't they? That's probably not gonna happen okay even here in the United States in, in a nice suburban neighborhood everyone locks the doors okay over there they're gonna lock the heck out of them. Mechanical breaching. When we train military breachers up normally you know, they're, they're tier one dudes they're freaking either army or, or, or navy or marine corps dudes but their jobs are breaching okay so we have this from bolt cutters up to seven and a half pound shot to C4 on concrete walls. So they learn everything from cutting handcuffs to blowing through walls, okay? And everything in between. Out here, this is, these are all the tw Push, pull, shoot, or blow. Next four, push a door, pull a door, shoot a door, blow a door. So if you got a 16 or 12 man team or 16 man team, you actually have four, four man assault forces, don't you? And whenever they encounter one of those fours, either gonna push it, pull it, shoot it, or blow it. We're talking about humping over hills, we're talking about sledgehammers of this size right here. This is like an eight pound head sledge. We got, the handle was about this long, we chopped these down to 22 inches that makes it more convenient to carry on our body armor, okay? Now, when it's needed, they call for sledgehammer up, I just come in here, I unsnap my snap link, I pull it out, and I'm ready to go hit that door, okay? One thing that is not the I'd rather always have this thing outboard so I could be protected from it. Does that make sense? Okay, but out here we're only making short movements. We're just gonna drop that thing in our body armor like that, okay? We don't use the sledgehammer. Hit the door once if you're the preacher, once you smash that door, you get out of the way. You're not going in right now. Other two other guys are going in. You've done your job, okay? So, you know, with rams, like we said, they're they're hard to carry. We've had we've used them. We have the guys, before they go down the fast rope, they will, as Halgen designed a tool that would help us pop commercial doors on buildings that are on fire, okay? Because a commercial building, those doors are going to open out, aren't they? Think of your, think of your, like, Walmarts or your banks, shit like that. The doors, the, the steel doors don't open in, they open out. They do that because of fire codes, and they do it because it makes it harder for people to break into the building. You know the pike, this is the mall, and this is the spade, okay? The pike is used for uses his sledgehammer and freaking slams it and will pop the lock off it. Okay? So that's the pike. The maul is our primary tool on this. The maul is set in between the door and the jam. And the door like this, you're gonna pull it. That makes sense. In other words, if the door's in the corner, I can't get on the other side like this to hold it while the guy puts in a sledgehammer. So they don't they'll become any more evident later. Staying on this course, and we're like riding vehicles and we're making movements at night. Cover that up with like some cardboard and, and rigorous tape. Okay, take like MRE cardboard, make a cone. If you're not familiar with it, burst shot for shotguns has about 125 little tiny pellets inside of the shotgun shell. Okay, for shooting birds, okay? Or rabbits, shit like that. Buck shot is made for killing. We have two, two different ones here, they're both moss birds. These are the easiest to operate for breaching because they're ambidextrous. Where do you all shoot shotguns at, by the way? Just curious. A little red dot will appear too, but the thing is, if you can't see it at night, just me, push towards the enemy. Here it comes, click. The next thing it's gonna follow is gonna be that buck's door. We can cut a wooden door with a chainsaw, we can cut a freaking a bulkhead with a, with a quickie saw, or cut through light cages, okay, things like that. The quickie saw rocks. Okay, here they are. Okay, so let me explain this briefly. I want 45 degrees down, and I want 45 degree angle in toward the jam. What I'm trying to do on a, on a real lock mechanism is to shear off the actual throw. You know, when you lock your door, that bolt goes like that, I'm shooting that off. But I'm not shooting it inside the room. I'm shooting it down and towards the jam. There's no way you're gonna come in here and do this. What's wrong with this picture? You don't know what you're shooting. Yeah, your hostages who are tied up, but it, always keep it in your strong hand because you're, you're gonna shoot better with your strong hand. Now, with, right, but with uh, breaching, you're on me, I come through. As soon as I get to this door, okay, I'm gonna rock this shotgun, which is gonna chamber around. I take it off safe, I place it, and look at my cover man. When he nods, I'm gonna shoot, turn, kick.
Quick, and walk away. Two at four, sir. Two at four, sir. Okay, and those guys make entry in. Okay. All right. So it's a, it's a commercial for McCullough. You know, not only do we drown fucking down mighty oak trees up in Washington State, but we also freaking dismember Taliban prisoners. All right. Here. Okay. Fourth, start to saw. Okay. Now, if you're not familiar with two-stroke engines, a little bit of choke allows a lot of gas to go in there first because it's cold. So when I pull it, if it kicks over, if it goes boom, I put the choke back in, or else I'm going to flood it with too much. <laughs> This thing is a lock. In case it slips out of your hands, it won't cut your head off, okay? That this thing here, because a lot of people have kickbacks. When they're sawing logs, it kicks out of their hands and comes up and cuts their head. This bar here will lock that blade if that happens, okay? So the thing is, okay? So turn it where it says on. Next, same thing as the chainsaw. Set triggers. Set your triggers. Press it in, lock it back. On this thing, this engine operates under such high com uh, freaking compression that it has what's called the decompression button right here. And you push that thing in, okay, and it'll let comp plug in. Next should we start to saw. Okay, no choke now needed. Set my trigger, decomp in. Once they're warm, one pull starts. Instructor boss, me. Chuck it on me. Chuck it on me. You shouldn't rack until he comes up past these. Two. Don't rack it when you're coming behind everyone. Come on up. Okay. Take it off safe. Place it. Hey, 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 hey. Slow down now. What did he do wrong? He didn't wait for me yeah, to yeah. get him the knob. Oh, fuck. Place it. Chuck it on me. Wait till he's past us. He's going to rack it. Off safe, place it. Look at your, I'm your cover man. Look at your cover oh, man. Shit. Look where your shotgun is now. 45 and 45. Okay, I nod. Turn, kick, rack, and do it. All right, good to go. Left hand shot. Left hand shot. Yep. Okay, shotgun on me. Shotgun on me. Come forward of him, rack it. Okay, take it off safe and place it. 45, 45. Look at Chandler. Okay. Shoot, turn, kick, and you walk away. 45 to your angle. That was a good one. That right there. Shotgun on me. Get between them. Rack it. Off safe. Place it. Look at your cover man. That's Q. He nods. Shoot. Turn. Kick. Outstanding. That's a good job. He's controlled. Okay. I'll just be my pretend cover man. All right. What I do is I come in and I'll be just like this. Choke up on this hammer, guys. Don't do like this, where when you hit it, your forearm's gonna hit the jam. Okay? So get 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 choked back on your hammer. From here, you're gonna look, and on these ones, we're gonna wait for the radio commands. All call signs. This is the commander I have control. Cock back on your hammer. Stand by, stand by, go. Boom! You hit that door in, just turn around, walk away 45 degree angle, stow your sledgy. Who here is like brand new to shotguns? Okay, let me let me explain this to you. And everyone kind of forgot about the shotgun. It wasn't until the, the, the last war, all right, where guys really started using these for, for opening a lot of doors. So the, the rounds just come in here and you just feed them forward so they click, okay, just like that. Or to make my slide work, it, it, one of two ways. One is pulling my trigger, all right, to shoot it. I will never pull my trigger to try to release my slide to unload it, okay, never. Always hit your slide release. It's right here. It's a little button. Just slide like that, okay? And, and rack, we need to rack. And a 45 degree angle down and a 45 degree angle in on a real door. Here's the sequence. I rack it first thing before I do anything else. I rack it. I place it. I take it off safe. I look at my cover man. He nods. I shoot. 
I turn, hit, I shoot, I turn, hit, and walk away 45 UA. Look at my cover man. He nods, I shoot, turn, kick, I'm off. Use forces! Left foot kick, and then move out. Don't point that weapon, okay? Turn, kick. All right, at this time, move to FAP. Stand by, stand by, go. You have forces, you have forces. Infantry! 20 clear! Go! I'm up, you're down! One in, two in, third guy cross. Okay. Infantry clear. Two by the way. One in, two in, third guy cross. Okay. Two by the way. U.S. forces! U.S. forces! Okay. Shotgun! Shotgun up! Shotgun up! Shotgun, Shotgun on me! We're in the pack like this, some of you get outside. Okay. Because someone throws a grenade in this room with fucking left hand, which is Ross. He nods, shoot the door. Good, right, Ross, get in there. There's horses! You cover, man. Turn, kick. There's horses! There's horses! There's horses! He nods, shoot the door. Good, Ross, get in there. There's horses! There's horses! U.S. forces! U.S. forces! Six clear! Four clear! Back up! I'm in! Set! Okay, get out of the way! Set! Now, pull! Ross, get in there! U.S. forces! Get in there! 